One of my favorite works in the museum is the bronze casting of Julio Gonzalez's iconic 1938 iron sculpture, Cactus Man. Julio was born in Barcelona in 1876, where he learned this trade because his father and his grandfather both had metalworking studios where he apprenticed as a young boy. He's been called the father of modern iron sculpture, but he was not only known for that. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, he had multiple shows and exhibitions that showcased not only his iron sculpture, but also his paintings, drawings, glass and faience work, and jewelry that was in the Art Nouveau style. At that time, he also became friends of the modernism artists at the time, like Picasso and Moreau, and at their urging, he actually moved to Paris in the 1900s, and to supplement his artistic endeavors, he took a job at the Renault factory, where he learned the life-changing skills of oxyacetylene welding, and he used those skills between 1928 and 1932, collaborating with Picasso on cut welded iron sculptures that drew on both of their drawings. Now when you look at Cactus Man, it's hard not to see similarities between it and African power sculptures that were called Nikandi, which he would have seen in Paris at the time. But the meaning and the context between those two are radically different. In the late 1930s, Spain was involved in a bloody civil war, and most of the modernist artists at the time supported the Republicans versus Franco and the Nationalists. And because of the terrible tragedy at Guernica, both Gonzalez as well as Picasso, Moreau, and Calder had monumental artworks in the Spanish Pavilion at the 1937 World's Fair in Paris. Now let's take a closer look at this particular sculpture. It is anthropomorphic, but because of there's distortion in some of the features, it's difficult to make real identification of those parts. But you will notice there are two cactus legs that are basically the kind of the signifying the resistance and the resilience of the Spanish peasants. There's also one outstretched arm that goes up and it kind of attached to the hip and it has fingers that are cylindrical like cactus stems. It has another arm that goes down like this, which also has five finger cylinders like cactus stems. But some of the art critics and historians of the time have stated that those represent weapons at the, at, at, in the statue. Now, there were four castings made of the original iron sculpture, and the museum has zero of three. And it was purchased in 1962 through the Horsley and Annie Townsend bequest. I hope you got a chance to see this work of artistic and historical significance. It's located on the fourth floor of the Demeray Pavilion in the Arts of One World Gallery.